What's going on everyone, Sweet Daddy Brown here, and today we're going to be playing some Johnny Graves' The Unchosen One. The game recently released, did a full release last week. It was in early access until last week. So they've uh, decided to change several things, and they reset the saves, so we'll have to start from the beginning. And there's also, uh, they took out the level selector, which is a bit disappointing? since uh, that would have been handy after uh, finishing a level to choose what level you wanted to start from. But yeah, they've also added a cutscene, an intro cutscene, which I'll have to reset to show it real quick. So let's take a look at that. Revolution in hell. The old Burgundy rule has fallen and crimson banners fly as the new Satan has taken the throne. His armies of darkness wait to invade Earth in full. But the secret to traversing the plains lies deep underneath New York City. As Ezekiel, the old Satan the world had feared for so long has fallen. Inside the tomb, he still possesses the magic that the new Crimson Lord so desperately needs to bring his full army across the mortal divide. Heaven must stop the invasion, or everything. The only man who can stop the forces of hell is the one heaven doesn't want to employ. Johnny Graves, son of the Crimson Satan, who seeks redemption for his centuries of evil deeds. Guided by his only ally in heaven, Johnny Graves must reach the tomb of Azazekiel before his father's troops and save the world from Armageddon. Okay, and that's the intro cutscene that only plays one. It's unskippable, but... You only play it, you only have to go through it one time, even though it's unskippable. So I'm going to be playing the game from the beginning, just because uh, there's a bunch of new changes they did, including to the story. As you saw there, Johnny already knows that uh, he's the son of Satan. Alright, so, can you hear me? And we have Ivy, which uh, wasn't part of the story before. Yeah, I can hear you. Great. So the link is not broken. Have you made it to the subway tunnels? Yeah, kind of crashed into the place. Okay then, find your brother. He should be somewhere in these tunnels. Did the intel say where it's at? Lee? No, I'm afraid not. You just have to look for him. That figures. You'll know where you can find Ezekiel's tomb. I'll just start shooting things and see where I find. See what I find. I can't read. If you haven't been part of, the, haven't watched my previous videos, you'll you'll know that. Uh, You'll now know that. <laughs> well, you got your gun and magic, knock yourself out. Yeah, so, no, no bueno with words, apparently. If uh, you've seen the previous videos of Johnny Graves, you'll notice that recently, in the most recent uh, early access build, they had all the abilities, but now they took them away and you gotta find them. What they do is uh, there are these pickups you might find from time to time, that'll either improve, oh, hello, okay, so this area is a bit glitched, it wasn't glitched before, I'm not sure why it's glitched now, sometimes you'll have it where, um, this tunnel right here, you'll get some massive frame drops, yeah, we gotta get past this, oh dear, it's odd, cause I did a, a playthrough test in today's update and it was fine then. So I guess that issue doesn't occur all the time, but look at this thing right here. This kind of looks like a dead end. Keep looking, Johnny. So you'll find th these things are new. Some of them give you gun damage, others increase your health, your speed, or give you a new ability. So it's quite handy looking through the the subway now. Alright, it's fine now. I'm not sure what's up with that area. Occasionally just messes up. But, uh, what else? What else did they change? Oh, the enemies, either you do more damage to them now, or they're weaker than before. So you can see, the dogs only take two shots now. So one thing I gotta say is that the game, from uh, the bit I played, I played all the way to the cemetery before I made this video. Test how things are. It, it feels quite easy now. 
This dead guy looks like one of Ezekiel's followers. They are here to fight for your brother's troops. Well, they weren't all that successful. You should probably keep on looking. But it feels quite easy now. Like, it, you're very, very rarely going to lose more than one bar of health. Unlike before. Oh, here's the big guys. Okay. So we'll put that in line there. And I think I missed. There we go. As you saw, I had no trouble taking that guy down. But yeah, I don't know. It, it was a bit hard on uh, the previous build, but now it just feels like you, you're Superman. You can just wreck things, no problem. I mean, it does get more annoying in the... Well, not annoying, but <laughs> it does get harder in the later levels. I say annoying because there is one type of enemy that just destroys me from long range in the cemetery level. Which I'll get to that. That's going to be like the third episode, I think. I'm going to be covering both the subway and the station level in the same video. Okay, what do we find here? Ricochet shot increase. So it's good to look around now. Before, there wasn't really a point to look around in any of the levels, to be honest. Especially this one. This one's just more of a maze, but now there is a reason to actually go exploring. Because you find sneaky power ups like this one. Ground shot cooldown decreased. So I like what they've done hiding these little upgrades around the maps that gives you a reason to explore the levels. A, a nice, nice touch. And I also like the fact that you don't get all your power ups in one go since it gives you a sense of progression while playing the game. And if you have all of them, you'll just use the most... the, the strongest power-up, which I found was the, the Flame Tornado, as I called it. That thing was lovely. I just spammed it. Killed all the others. And yeah, I think we should be nearing the end of this area. Not a long area, it's quite quick. Oh, anything here? Mm. Yeah, there was something here. Maximum health increase, so it was worth checking out this little pathway here. About the, the previous parts I've already covered, which is basically, oh, seems like your brother brought in some heavier soldiers. Looks like something out of my father's new factories. Your father manufactures monsters now? Satan has a reputation to keep, I guess. Good thing you have your magic gun. Oh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the, the previous videos I recorded, um, probably gonna call them part zero or something since I called them part one and part two, but they were just a subway and the station levels. Uh, let's let's check what's over here on the right. But uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, it, it was pre-launch. It was their early access version, so that might as well. Oh, start over and do the first episode covering what I covered in those two episodes, since everything's different now. And you'll get a better representation of what you'll be getting. I have no idea what this thing is, but you can't kill it. It looks like a giant roach. But I do know a glitch. That might annoy it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, when I did it the first time, it didn't cause massive frame drops. Now I haven't regretting it. Alright, I killed it. Even though I am lagging like crazy. I have to say, you seem to handle yourself pretty well down there. I've seen worse. The door <laughs> to get you into the maintenance corridor. And the subway station, gotcha. Oh, I am sorry guys. I did not expect it to 
caused this to happen. Since that didn't happen the last time. Wow. <laughs> That's definitely something they gotta, gotta fix. Although it, it is uh, it's something that happens if you, you're looking for trouble. Like that glitch, it, it's quite specific is what I mean to say. It's not something you easily trigger. But I did notify the devs so that might have it fixed in a bit. Well, not a bit, but whatever. You're the last person I expect to see, to see here, traitor. Now that's no way to greet your brother. I've got nothing to say to you. Leave now and I'll spare you. Can't do it. What? What do you care? I'm here to stop you guys from destroying the world. You're too late. As Ezekiel's power will be ours. Okay. So... Let's see, bro. I actually thought the... The story before was pretty entertaining. Because Johnny seemed more of a smartass to this guy. Like, oh, you wanna... I'm the, the Prince of Hell or something. I don't know what you're talking about, I'm just athletic. <laughs> I'll never get tired of that. Then he talks about how he has a magic gun. Thinks that's normal. All that jazz. That was quite easy. So right now we are at the first part of the station level. This is where the station level starts off. This is going to be a bit of a long video since it's going to be combining both of them. Because the subway area was quite short. So I didn't want to make just one video on that. And there wasn't much to look at. If you've played the game before, you'll notice this little part was new. There wasn't a horde of zombies. There's actually quite a lot more zombies in the full build than there was in the early access build. Die. Is it die, die Johnny? I have no idea what this is. Just shoot at it. I think you see it's most likely a zombie. Shoot first, ask questions later. Alright. Let's reload. I thought I reloaded already. I didn't expect to fight zombies here. You're right. That is weird. Where did your brother go? Don't worry, I'll find him. Find out what you can about the zombies. Although, it doesn't feel... This this story, how they're doing it now, it doesn't feel as random as... Uh, as in the... Early at Because he's just killing these monsters like nothing. <laughs> and he's like, no, I'm just a, a normal human. I don't know what you're talking about. But over here... He knows he's the son of Satan, and that he has these special powers and then guns and whatnot. So he knows what. Oh shit! He knows what he's dealing with. Ooh, what's that say? Fizzle, fizzle kook. <laughs> okay. Some fizzle coke, huh? Coke. I wonder if you'd still pronounce it coke like that, even though it has a U after the other. Oh. How's it going? My good, uh, zombies inheritance. Oh. Uh oh. Nope. I'm really digging the ricoch uh, ricochet shot. I don't know if it was working properly before, but. Feels, feels good, fam. Feels good. Oh, kind of stuck. As you've probably noticed, some enemies drop some uh, little power-ups, upgrades, so you don't just find them randomly. Well, you can, but uh, they also drop them as well. So it's also good to kill enemies instead of running away. There we go. 
That's one, there should be another one. There he is. Nope. What? Huh, oh, that's weird. Blink didn't work properly. What is that thing? I was afraid of this. This used to be a human, but it has been altered by my father. What do you mean? This is a necromancer that displays the zombies. Well, it looks like somebody took care of the necromancer problem for you. I'm sure there'll be more. Hmm. Oh, this thing is a necromancer. We'll see more of those in the cemetery, and they are annoying as hell. Cause you gotta kill them before you kill the zombies, because they'll just keep bringing the zombies back. I'm curious as to what killed the necromancers, though. Alright. So now we are going to be facing Senior Daniel for the second time. Shit. You cheeky... Oh, did I... Oh, kind of glitched there. You're right there, Daniel. Ow. Damn it. I am messing up big time. Oh, okay. I walked right into the... He baited me. Of course, the time I die is to a freaking train. I could have been more perfect. That's gonna kill a doge. Oh, I'm kind of stuck. God, you're annoying. Oh, come back. Let me kill you. So, that was the second encounter. Um, I could have gone better. I used to be better at dodging his basic attack, but uh, I'm being sloppy in this recording. Yeah. So now we are in the third part of the station level. And this is uh, where the spiders come in, as you can see there. Where did he go? I think he jumped down to the roost. He was always a coward. You should hurry. You need to catch him. We need the location of the tomb. The tomb. Now we're tomb raiders. Oh crap, I did not jump there. So I'm pretty sure the spiders got a, a bit of a, an aesthetic change. Look. Ow. Dog. Dog, please. I am busy hunting down spiders and being rude. So the spiders take only... Oh, wait. I guess they take four. I thought they only took three. I don't know. I guess I must have picked up uh, a weapon damage upgrade in my first run. Uh, it seemed like it only took three. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm so confused. And on fire. Okay. Jump. Jump. No, not to your death. It does feel like you could get stuck on things easier in this full build. I'm not sure if that's just coincidental that somehow I didn't get stuck on things before. Or, uh,. If it's an actual problem that they have now. Which seems to be the case. Since it's more apparent and uh, it's more noticeable in the later levels. How's it going? Mind if I drop in? Send you, please. So yeah, this is basically... Oh, we're basically just doing the same thing as we did in the first two parts, in the previous two videos I did on this game. Except I'm covering the new... new additions, changes, and whatnot. Especially if you actually want to keep up with the story. Want to know what's going on. Since things are much different now. try to get... Oh, crap. For those of you who have watched the previous two videos already, I'll try to get the Chinatown one. Oops. 
quicker than uh, this one took to get up. There we go. That way you'll have some brand new content, Rooney. Oh, we got a new bullet. Oh dear. I gotta learn to blink. I just didn't want to risk it because I was close to the edge and these spiders. Spiders are as rude as ever. <laughs> Damn it. Hmm. Not this time, you sneaky health pickup. I know your tricks. Oh. Did I just fall through or? Let's see. Oh, I did fall through. Huh. <laughs> that didn't happen last time. Come on. Oh, oh. Uh. Okay, so here, here's another bug that needs to be fixed. I can't even fight my, my bro. There we go. Hey, this is weird. I play tested it. Like I said, I play tested it before recording this episode and it was fun. I restarted Steam. Well, I didn't restart Steam. I got off the game and then started it up again later at a later time, which is now. And now this, these glitches are happening. Oh shit. Ah oh, damn it. I already blinked so I couldn't dodge it. Well, now the stairs are working properly. May please. I know your tricks. Tricks that aren't for kids. I don't know what I'm seeing. Yeah. Yeah, like them apples. Now that I have full health and I'm just spamming the hell out of you. How does it feel? Oh, really, Doge? Now tell me, where can I find Eze as Ezekiel's tomb? You're too late. Our troops have run over St. Mary's Cathedral. The fools didn't stand a chance. You have captured a tomb? We have already won the war, and there is nothing anyone can do about it. Unless this Ezekiel escapes from the tomb. Even you wouldn't dare do that. <coughs> I'll worry about that later. First, I will stop you and our father. Oh, this guy... He is the brother Daniel needs, but doesn't deserve. And the son of old oh, Satan. But, uh, yeah, that's it for this episode of Johnny Graves, the Unchosen One. Covering the changes that uh, have been made from the early access build. Since this is the full build now. And covering the subway and station area. Next episode, I'll cover Chinatown. So, yeah, see you there.